Hello children. Today I'm going to teach you about a magical number. So, do you want to know which number is this? The number 0. Right. Let's see. Oh, we have a friend sitting and waiting over here. And this friend is very, very hungry. So, what is he going to do? He is going to eat the apples kept on the plate. Can you count how many apples are there on the plate? One, two, three. Yes, there are three apples kept on the plate. And your friend picks up one apple. Yum! Into his stomach. But he's still hungry. So pick, he picks up another apple. And yum! Into his stomach. Oh no! He's still hungry. So he picks up the last apple from the plate. And yum! Goes into his stomach. And now he's full and relaxed. But oh no! There is nothing left on the plate. So, how many apples can you see? You can see no apples. That is zero. There are no apples left on the plate. So, whenever we have nothing left on the plate, what do we call it? Zero. Zero means nothing. Right. Now, let's see. What's next? Oh, we have another friend. And look what she has. She has one, two dolls. And what happens to the dolls? Oh no, the dolls, goes, disappears, vanish. So now, how many dolls she has? She has zero dolls. She is not left with any dolls. So, what do we say? That she has zero dolls. Right. Wow. We have a lovely clean pond over here. And look who's sitting on the pond. Frogs. Can you count the number of frogs? One. Two. Now this frog wants to go inside his pond. What does he do? Jumps into the pond. And the second frog follows him too. Jumps into the pond. So, how many frogs can you see here? No frogs. Now, there are no frogs in the pond. So, what do we say about the number of frogs? Zero. There are zero frogs on the pond. Right? So, that is all about the number zero. So, what do we learn? We learned that zero means nothing. Right? A big thank you to all. Keep learning and stay safe. Bye-bye.